What is going on guys and welcome to another cyberpunk video. One of the most important things in cyberpunk is money, 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 because that's going to make your life easier. It's going to help you buy apartments, going to help you buy cars, going to help you buy almost everything in the game. Today I'm going to show you guys the easiest and fastest way to make money and the best way to help you level up and get all the really good stuff you need and all that cyberware. So if this sounds interesting, a like would be greatly appreciated. So let's dive in and talk about what you're going to be doing. Basically, what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be duplicating items and selling these items. I'm going to tell you how you could do this unlimited amount of times and then definitely and you'll be able to stack 20K, 50K over and over and over. Very simple and very easy. Now, the great thing about this particular exploit is the fact that you're going to be able to do this on the Xbox, PlayStation and PC. So it doesn't really matter where you do it. You'll be able to get this done. So the first things you guys want to do is you guys want to locate this, of course, a vendor or a sell shop. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to walk up to the shop and you're going to go ahead and click sell. And once you're in the sell item, you're going to go into your inventory item. And as you guys see, I have a bunch of stackable items. Now this works with any stackable item. So stackable items are really important because these are really beneficial for you guys to get a lot of money. Now, as you guys see, I have a lot of med ones and I would probably recommend you guys do the med ones because these do give you a good amount of money. They're the ones I've tried the most. And some of the glitches that we used to have back in the day don't work no more, but this one actually works really well. So if you guys are on the Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, this is where you guys need to pay attention. So I am currently right now on the PC. I'll be switching over to my Xbox controller so you guys can see me doing it on that and also my PlayStation controller. So, so what you guys are going to want to do if you are on the PlayStation, you're going to hold down X. If you're on the Xbox, you're going to hold down A. And if you're on the particular PC, you're just going to have your mouse cursor stay highlighted over the item you're trying to sell. So we're gonna click the item to be able to activate it and this is gonna pop up the sell item. Now I have a ton of lot of amounts of items here. Now you wanna see how much money the actual vendor has. Some vendors have 20K, some have 10K, some have 15K. So you wanna make sure you pay attention to how much money you have because what we wanna do is we wanna extrapolate and get the largest amount of money from that particular vendor. So this vendor right here has 4,000, 4,000, uh, it has about $4,000. Your vendor probably will have 20, 15. So what we wanna do is we wanna increment this to the maximum amount. Now I have way too much because that's 170K. So the vendor's not gonna have that large amount of money. So what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna cancel right here. We're gonna come back into it. And we are gonna select a good amount of money that I think he has, which is about $1,000, right? So once you guys get to a really good amount, like let's say $1,000, what you're going to want to do is the, the maximum amount of numbers, so let's say I only had 59 of these items, let's say you had 99 or 55, you're going to want to max it out, but once you max it out, you're going to want to bring it down one, so instead of 59, you're going to have 58. What you're going to do is now this is where the things get really important, because you want to make sure you're holding down X, you're holding down A, or in this case, in the computer, your mouse cursor is highlighting the item you have. So remember, it's very important to hold down X, if you're on the PlayStation, hold down A, and you're on the Xbox, and keep the cursor on the item on your PC. After you do that, guys, you're going to hit uh, Confirm, which is F on the Xbox, and you're going to notice, or F on the mouse, you're going to notice something that happened. I got the $1,000, but I was able to get the sell item once again. So I was able to get the sell menu one more time, allowing me, guys, to duplicate these items to be able to get more money. So basically, once again, we do that rinse and repeat. This time I'm gonna do it on my controller so you guys can see the difference on controller. So basically what we're gonna do here in the controller, guys, I'm on the Xbox controller, but if you're on the PlayStation, you're gonna hold, you're gonna click X on the Xbox, you're gonna hit A, and once you hit A, you're gonna hold down A, okay? You're gonna keep holding down A, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move this over to another thousand points, and we're gonna get this all the way to a thousand by pressing the D-pad. Uh, we'll go all the way to a thousand, all the way to a thousand. Remember, max amount is up on the D-pad, so you gotta keep that in mind. So once again, our maximum number would be 59. We're gonna reduce that by one. We're still holding down the A, and all we gotta do is hit X to confirm, and that's gonna go ahead, confirm the sale, and it's still gonna give us the ability to keep selling. So as you see here, the menu comes back once again by still holding down A, and the menu will continue to stay active for us until we sell all the items. Now, one thing I wanna recommend is that each individual vendor will reset every 24 hours. So you wanna make sure you just don't extrapolate all the money away from the vendor because you wanna make sure that the vendor has that money constantly for you guys every single time. So what I would do is I would, if the vendor has 20K in the inventory of, of, you know, of money, you probably wanna get it all the way to 19,500 you know, 19, and get all that money, leave 500 in the bank so you could come back within 24 hours and repeat this process over and over and get unlimited amount of money 
in Cyberpunk 2077. Now, if you guys are a returning player or a new player, let me know in the comment section down below if you're returning or if you're new. If you are either of them, I highly recommend you check out this video, guys, where I show you guys and talk about what you need to know as a returning player and what you need to know as a beginning player to get a head start not only in the stuff that got updated to the game, but also if you're new to know exactly what you should be working up towards the game. I hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.